Hey, welcome to the show today. I wanted to piggyback on one of the videos we posted about noise on Facebook and YouTube. I also wanted to piggyback and to do a follow-up with you on a previous video that we talked about inflation. This video is time-stamped. As you can tell, we are telling you what day we're recording the video, and what, so when you look back, it could be a little bit dated. Understand that. However, the principles are gonna remain the same and it's gonna have an impact as we move throughout the rest of the year. Today, the Consumer Pricing Index inflation numbers were released, the 13th of July, and what they showed was a 9.1% increase in our inflation number, which is up from last month. Last month was 8.6. And so what's happening is we've talked about noise before. The media is gonna grab this number and they're gonna run with it and they're gonna create as much fear in you as they possibly can because that's what they do. They want clicks and they want you to view their content. They want you to be on their, on their news streaming channels and they wanna create fear. This is not as scary in my mind as it sounds. Let's break it down. When we look at and remove just gas and fuel oils from that number, that's seven and a half percent of that total number, right? So back up, that's seven and a half percent up from last month or last time they registered it, it's an increase, it's not a total percentage. Here's what experts are looking at. Here's what they're gonna be basing on when your lenders are pricing out interest rates, when their investors are pricing that out, when the stock market's looking at the consumer price index inflation numbers and what's happening, Here's what they're gonna be looking at. The experts are gonna look at what's the consumer price index when we remove food and energy from it. And they're gonna show that at a 5.9% at a where we peaked in March at 6.5%. 5.9 is down from last month. Which means we're trending in the right direction with inflation, however, the media is not gonna tell you that. They're gonna do things to create fear and to scare and to drive content and people to their page. Break down what we're really looking at. This, yes, it has an impact. It has an impact in your household and it has an impact in my household. We're all buying fuel, right? And if we look here and we pull out food and fuel and energy, we're all still eating, we're all still burning fuel. Inflation still impacts us. It just isn't the fear-mongering number that it's being created to be. Now, keep in mind, the goal for this is 2%. We've got a long ways from getting to 2%. That's the goal that we would want that number to be at, to be a little bit more balanced. So, things to be watching for. When the Fed does their meeting on the 27th of this month, as of yesterday, there was a 92% probability that they would do a 0.75% a increase. Again, the media is gonna take that and say the Fed's gonna increase rates three quarters of a point on their Fed funds borrowing rate. Today, that went down, when they announced these numbers, that went down to a probability of 57.2%. And what it changed was there's now a 42.8% probability that they'll raise at 1%. Here's what I think is going to happen. I think you're going to continue to see mortgage rates incrementally increase and maybe get a little worse between now and the 27th. If you see a 1% increase by the Fed, I believe that you're going to see interest rates stay about where they're at. You might see a little bit of an increase, a little bit of a decrease. It's going to hover about where it is as of that time. If they choose and go with the 0.75% increase, I think you're gonna see rates soften a little bit as we go out of July and into August, which is gonna create a little bit more demand. So if you're a seller, you're gonna create some buyer opportunity because their interest rate's gonna come down. If you're looking to buy, it might be best to be looking at how do I maximize the rate prior to this Fed funds meeting on the 27th of July. A Lot of information packed in here. Whether you agree or disagree is totally up to you. Again, this is according to Scott's mindset. Some of this numbers is from CAM, some of it's the CPI index. Again, have a conversation with me because this is relevant to all of us. The gas and food is relevant to all of us. We're all eating, we're all burning fuel. What's happening in inflation and the goal of getting to 2% is a big deal in your household. It's a big deal in my household. I'm not gonna be afraid of it. I'm gonna educate and we're gonna create opportunities for you to win as you're looking at how do I succeed in the market well it's changing, normalizing, and we're battling the inflation. Thanks for watching, have a great day.